Hey you folks, Cool18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Republic of Venice. It has been some time, we've been distracted by other games, but now we are back in the Mediterranean seeking to conquer all with our uh, mercantile skills and not to mention a little bit of the stabby stabby and releasing snakes and whatnot. Um, so, when we last left things off, we had just, uh, well, we'd done a couple of things. We'd taken a bit of territory uh, up over here, which was good, but we'd also lost an embargo war. Um, in North Africa, Northeast Africa here. Um, and, you know, I'm still going to say it's not really crippling to us. We, I think, we personally only lost, like, four trade posts, and then uh, the, the other Venetian families lost, I think, another five. Um, but it's not the end-all and be-all. Um, you know, we can recover for this, it's going to be fine. But it has pointed out the fact that it is very important to keep rulers of large areas of land happy. And that's why I'm going to start this one off by going and taking a little look over here as the, at the uh, Byzantine Empire, or Emperor, um, Constantinos the 11th. And right now, I mean, he's got a positive attitude, but not a terribly positive attitude. And I want to stay besties with him forever. Um, because we have a lot of trading posts over here, not to mention a little bit of land. Like, this is, this is a significant investment. Now, it's not all ours, but it's mostly ours. The Zianis have a little bit. Um, and, of course, it is a big part of Venice overall. And if they ra raise an army against us, we are not really in a position to fight them off at this time. Um, so what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to... Point a new steward. It's been a while. I don't know what happened to our last steward. Um, Contarini would be better to put in. He's not as good though. Um, and this guy actually wants to become a steward, so we'll make we'll make good friends with him. Oh, it's not as much as I thought it would be. Hmm. Huh. And um, right, we actually want the chancellor to improve diplomatic relations over here. Um, but we can't wait for his event to trigger, because I want to make sure that we keep this really, really high from now on. So we're going to be bribing this guy. It's actually not a terrible investment, uh, because it also lets us build trading posts a little bit cheaper, because he's going to be happier with us. Um, I think it's the ultimate liege being happy with us that makes the big difference. There we go. So it is an 86. That should protect us pretty well. I don't know what his relationship with the other, um, the other doges are. Uh, ask to embargo. Is this... Hmm, there's maybe not a quick and easy way to find out. Um, oh, he's in another war right now. It's not telling me that he likes any of these guys more than me. So that's good. There, I wish there was a, a kind of a matrix that you could use to pull up different people and compare their relationships with each other. Uh, much, much easier. Oh yeah, so he's already in a war. <clears throat> That's part of the reason he wouldn't do it. It'd be interesting, we might be able to get him to do an embargo if we uh, if we bribed him enough and stuff. Um, but more th more than anything, I want to... Like, who's going to embargo? Like, a little bit of Pisa, I guess. Uh, a little bit of Genoa. Uh, I guess this is all his, too. Yeah, see, like, look at all the trade that we would lose if the Byzantine Empire embargoed us. We would lose all of this, all... No, that would be that would be horrendous. So, yeah, we're, we're going to stay besties. Now we also have to appoint our steward to do something. Um, I think we're still going to have him research some economic tech over here. Okay, so that's job number one. The other thing we're going to do, and I don't know if this game is going to get unpaused anytime soon, is we have to divest ourselves of some of our domain. Um, now, I've seen quite a few posts on Reddit lately of people playing with um, with just no no care to their domain size. Now that works, I think, probably better in the feudal system, um, but they will, they're going around taking over like huge cuts of land and having like, you know, 60 over six type of thing. Um, and they get to keep all the income. Yeah, they take a tax hit from inefficiency, but they still get to keep a lot of income because there's no vassals in the way. Of course, everyone in their king kingdom hates them and they're probably gonna get assassinated, but there it is. Anyway, there's also a little bit of a quick view of the world and, and how it's shaping up. Still no Ireland. Um, Oh, England's actually got a fair chunk of Scotland up here. I mean, I don't, won't remember what Scotland starts with in the game, but I'm pretty sure Scotland has this in the game. It certainly has it in real life. Um, hmm. Curious. Genoa, the Papacy, Pisa, a little bit of actual Venice territory over here. Very good. Byzantine Empire spread out over here. That's nice. Um, yeah, and this... Hmm. 
holy war for what's left of Sicily. And we could declare now. Why? Are these, uh, oh, these are mercenaries. You know, I just finished a bunch of wars. Why not have more? I don't, do I have any more trade in uh, Muslim land? I don't. So if there was ever a time to really hit them hard, now would be it. I have a acceptable amount of money, plus troops in the area. Is that why they were here? I don't even remember. Was that my plan all along? Oh, I still have troops here. Oh, that's just remnants from the other war. And can I safely declare war on these guys? Uh, it seems like I can. Do I not have to obey a truce with um, with these guys? I don't know. I'm not going to go and look at the relationships. You know, maybe there's a good reason that there's no troop or er, truce, but very, very interesting. I can't actually dock in any of these places, and these guys are moving down there, so we can pick them up, but... Huh. I still probably need to give some things away. Um... Well, that's pretty good. Now, what do I want to give away? That's an interesting question. One thing is I'm going to be keeping uh, Wexford, okay? Because um, I don't want them to start plotting independence, which is apparently the thing. Uh, the, the distance penalty in relationship isn't as visible anymore, uh, but now they're just very likely to start a, a faction for independence. So I'm going to try to keep direct control over Wexford. Um, and then maybe later, actually, I'm going to upgrade that to a... Um, Yeah, so we still have a truce, uh, but I might just try to seize all of Leinster, uh, at which point I, I might get rid of uh, Wexford. Although, will it become my capital? It may, I'm not sure. Um, other than that, well, let's get rid of the stuff, I suppose, that is currently giving me zero. I will want to keep something over here, probably. Just, again, for that whole distance thing, if we can swing it. Uh, we're going to take a look at that. Um... Yeah. Anyway, let's start looking. Well, who am I going to give it to? Well, I'm going to search, um, I guess, just within my realm for now. Uh, I want to find men who are not rulers. And uh, just to make it quick, yeah, we'll go my religion and my culture. But actually, what I'm looking to do is give it to Contarinis, who have no anything yet. Now, do I have anyone bookmarked? I do. Do they have anything? He's a mare. <clears throat> He's something. And he's something. Okay. So all my, my designated potential heirs already have something. Other than that, we're going to start giving things away. Um, let's start by giving it to adults, I suppose. Um, although, hold on. Like, he's my son, right? He's only five. But let's, let's make him a count. Although, if I do that, shoot, he's going to leave my court. He's a close relative. Hmm. Yeah, we've got enough titles. We're going to end up giving a ton away. Um, I guess he'll do fine. I wish I could actually sort by how much money they have. I wonder, is the older one going to have more money? Yes, he's actually got more money. So if we could give him um, one of these, it might be... It might be a good idea. <clears throat> I'm going to give him Menorca, and I'll keep... Mallorca for myself, um, just to negate any kind of distance penalty. I think is how it works. I may be wrong. Distance might simply be based on where I am, um, but I like the idea of having a little bit of control out here. We'll give him the lower titles, just in case it's a thing, and that's fine. That should make him a little happier. Uh, plus, again, I need to get rid of the titles, so I may as well do it this way. Um, the alternative is I could not do this, and just give the next city in there to someone else. That'll keep his power a little bit more in check. If I don't give it to him, he's going to get cranky. Yeah, let's do that. Boom. Send. Alright, and then Menorca, I also have Ciatadelia. Alright. Um, <clears throat> I think we've got to refresh this view to get rid of him. And yeah, we'll just keep going down the list. <clears throat> Grant Land did title of Siatudeya. Um, and again, now there's no there's no lower title, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, we are losing people out of our court, but... <clears throat> I don't know, this seems like a thing to do, you know? You've got your family, you're going to give them a bunch of titles. 
and that life. So what else do we want? Uh, Palma. That's a bishopric. Bishopric. Actually, I'm thinking maybe. <clears throat> um, well, I don't know. Does it make him a bishop? Is he married already? No, like. Doesn't just show me his pay. Oh, there we are. Yeah, he is married. He's got kids. Meh. We'll just give it to him. It might. It might do something crazy, but. Ah, uh, disqualify him from succession. So it will do that. <clears throat> but it doesn't actually kick him out of the family, so he's still going to draw a thing. Conceivably, I might actually want to play as him at some point, so we won't give him that. We'll give him Alsudia. Which is fine <clears throat> to give away that the city there, because I'm still going to have the county, which, I don't know. We're, we're going to see how all this works out at some point. Um, and then we're going to have to start giving it to kids at some point. Oh, here we are. You've got a title already? Oh. Refresh the list, damn it. And then we're out of adults. So I'm just going to start giving it to people, like, from top to bottom. Um, this is my nephew. I'm not even guarding, shipping him directly. So, um, this is Barony. Uh, not Wexford, so now, oh, Elvis, Elvis Land. Where? Oh. That's the capital of Mallorca, so I've got to keep that unless I'm going to give away the county. I still got to give away two things. I don't want to give away Wexford. Oh, Palma, though. Let's just create a brand new vassal here. Boom. Because I'm too lazy to find like people of the right type to do whatever. That just sounds like work. Um... It's a good money place, but I think I'm going to have to give it away. Sucks, but what are you going to do? So, that was... Where's this one? Oh, down here. Yeah, we'll do that. The Sita. Sita Vecha. <clears throat> All right, good. Now we're below the limit, and frankly, we're going to go right above the limit as soon as we start the Holy War here. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any more prep that I want to do at this point. I've got to move the dudes around, but I don't think I'm going to wait for the guys. I can take these down. I don't suppose I can start a new retinue. I don't think I want to, actually, because I want to save uh, a little bit of money. Yeah, we can. I probably lost some guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to wait a tick because I want to keep my money up just so that it can respond to anything that might happen here. Um, because buying mercenaries, for example, would be a lot faster. I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. So I'm actually going to cut this episode here. And the next episode, um, we're going to start, we're probably going to start the Holy War. See you next time, folks. Bye.